the radar. Sponsored by bankruptcy attorney E. Orem Young. Now, your local weather with meteorologist Brian Briggs. Well, good Sunday evening to you. Hopefully you were able to enjoy your day today. Weather-wise, yet another hot and steamy day for the Arklamis. Many of us seeing temperatures in the middle to upper 70s. Dew points have been really high, too, feeling a lot like spring. That's because, well, we do have a spring-like air mass in place ahead of another cold front that's going to be bringing more showers and storms as uh, early as this evening. But at least right now, you can see on our tower cam that clouds are kind of out there and a little bit of sunshine is trying to peek through. Nonetheless, though, it's still warm, even though we've had thick cloud cover through much of the day today. Currently sitting at 77 degrees here in Monroe, and our dew point is at 68. So a very, very juicy air is in place, too, especially considering the time of this year. It's late February into early March, so uh, a little bit warm, a little bit sticky for this time of year. Currently sitting at 81 in Vicksburg. Those folks were actually able to hit 80 today. Many of us still sitting anywhere from the lower to upper 70s across the area, so very warm air remains in place this evening. Very humid air remains in place as well, and that's very, very warm and humid air that's in place will set the stage for those showers and thunderstorms as we head through tonight. So typically when we see dew points like this, it's uh, indicative that we'll have showers and storms and well, live storm tracker Doppler radar can verify that pretty well. Though most of the activity is kind of around the Arklamis at this time, but you can see live storm tracker Doppler radar is picking up on a line of showers and storms off towards our northwest. And this right here is going to be our weather player as uh, we go through the night tonight. So best chances for any sort of severe weather appear to be along and north of I-20. But the official uh, severe watch that we have in place right now only is uh, the tornado watch. That's uh, for four of our counties in southern Arkansas. And that goes through 10 o'clock tonight. So National Weather Service has not extended this, at least for now. And uh, watches and warnings continue in the flash flood watch department as well as uh, we could be seeing some heavier rain totals accumulating out of this as uh, these storms kind of train over or move over the same places as we go through the night tonight. So hopefully we can get a few tracker here in just a second, kind of walk you through what we can expect here as we go through the night tonight. And there it is. Future tracker shows that those showers and thunderstorms that we're seeing off towards our northwest right now will eventually form into a more organized line and will sink southeastward very slowly through the night. So this is about 9 o'clock. The storms will start to move in as early as 730 and they'll continue to sag their way south. But good news is mainly at about two o'clock in the morning and onward from there. Well, the storms is eventually tapered to showers and we're just left with rain through much of our Monday. So Monday and Tuesday are looking like they're going to be soggy days and the window for severe weather. It looks to be a little short at least. So there's good news there. So and just kind of time this out here. Again, uh, we have a slight risk ac across portions of southern, or actually all of southern Arkansas. That's where that threat for damaging hail, some gusty winds, and maybe a few isolated tornadoes would be possible. The threat decreases as you go further south. So a very quick look at the seven-day forecast shows that, again, uh, we kind of remain unsettled as we go from Monday and Tuesday. We also do cool down, and that's another reason why we lose the severe threat as we head into our Monday. And then pretty much after Tuesday, we're drying out a little bit and we're warming up, staying near seasonal, just some scattered showers on Friday. Hunter? Thanks, Brian.